Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today, I have some really great primitive flips for you. We're gonna take some dump finds and some Goodwill treasures, and we're gonna put them together and make a beautiful marriage that is just gonna be some primitive goodness you're going to just love. So, are you ready for this? Let's get started. This project is a mix of some Goodwill, which is this wooden bowl I got for $4 at Goodwill. And then the other two pieces, a metal candle holder and the mesh uh, dome I got at my local dump. And I actually got the little white dome. I got several of them different sizes. And I thought this one fit the bowl perfectly. And when I got them all together, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with them. So first we're going to spray them with Rust-Oleum flat spray paint. The candle holder is shiny and also the wood bowl is has got a shiny stain on it or a seal and I need to make it so I can paint it because this is going to be the undercoat, this black color. Now I'm going to let it dry and then I brought it in to uh, sand down the tops of the candlestick and the bottom of the bowl so that they would get a nice con some nice contact with this E6000. And I'm also going to use some hot glue so that it will hold it uh, immediately so that I can start painting it. So I just put three big blobs of it on there and then I saved space in between to put some hot glue and I'm going to add those two pieces together. This is what you call a marriage. These two did not come together. They didn't even come from the same place, but now they're going to be married together forever and they are going to look fabulous. This is Dixie Bell Latte Paint. I will put a link in the description if I can find it. If you're interested in this color, it's a really beautiful brownish color and or khaki maybe. And I love it. So it is a limited edition. So you might not, I might not be able to find it and you might not be able to find it unless you find somebody that is a vendor or a dealer in the Dixie Bell paint. That's how I found it. There was somebody that had a booth in my flea market that has a Dixie Bell paint and I found it. So I gave this two complete coats all around and let it dry. Now I want this to look distressed. If you were gonna do something like this and you didn't want it to look distressed, you can skip this part. But I am going to take some of this rub and buff. This is the ebony or black color and I'm taking just a little bit on my finger and touching up or highlighting some of the uh, pieces on the candlestick and I'm gonna do the bowl as well. But I'm just doing around the edges and just kind of giving them a little bit of a distressed look. This, just a little bit of this goes a long way and you just put a, I put a little on my finger. Now, if you didn't have any of this, you could use just paint you could use it on your finger or on a brush or whatever you want. I've done that before. Where I spray painted this and the undercoat is black, I could lightly sand this down. If you use clay paint, you could probably wet distress it. I just chose to use this rub and buff because I happened to see it while I was looking for what color paint I wanted to paint this. So I decided I would use that. Now, as you can see, I did spray paint the dome and I got inside and out. We just spray painted it with a flat, flat black spray paint. I used some of the Rust-Oleum Clear Sealer on both the dome and the base. And then I have this greenery here that I'm gonna put inside. And I have some of these tiny little lights again i will put links down in the description if you're interested in any of these and i also have some rattan balls different colors that i just have in my stock and i'm going to use a few of those different sizes and put those in there and just kind of add some interest in the bowl 
So when I put the lid on, you can't really see it real good, but you know that something's going on in there and you see the lights and a little bit of the greenery. I love mixing the div look with the greenery. I think it, it just makes it look more high end and it just makes it feel warm to have that greenery in there. And then I'll show you at the end of uh, the pictures here of the finished product that I change it up a little bit and add a little nest and bird. This star with the pit berries was a dump find. At my local dump, we have a small shed area that's covered that people put things that they don't actually want to throw away, but they don't want anymore. And people can go through and take what they want. And I found this at one, one point going over to the dump. I always stop over to the little free shack, I call it. It's not really a shack. It's actually quite nice. Um, but I noticed that a lot of the, the bigger pit berries looked either really yucky, almost moldy, and uh, some of them actually looked like they were missing, like they were cracked or even broken, and you could see the styrofoam because that's what they're made out of underneath. So I thought what I would do is I went through and cleaned it the best that I could, just kind of vacuumed a little bit because it was a little dusty. But I wanted to get rid of these a little pit berry balls that just didn't look very nice on here. And I thought if I cleaned it up, it could still be used. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just starting on one side of the star and just going around uh, all the way around and taking off any that I think look kind of yucky and broken. So I think I got all of those off there and that looks so much better. It looks so much cleaner. So now I'm gonna take some of the greenery that I got from the Primitive Quilt Shop. Recently, I just got a, a um, order from them for some spring greenery. So I thought what I would do is pop some of these bottom little leaves off, and, or branches, I guess you'd call them, uh, and put those underneath the pit berries and kind of add, I think it looks more high end. Of course, if you wanted to just have the pit berries you could do that as well. You could also add some Spanish moss underneath if you wanted to add a little bit more to it. But I thought the greenery would look really nice. I'm really liking the browns and the greens and the more natural tones. Uh, recently, I'm really loving those colors together. And even the rusty stars with the greenery, I think just looks so fabulous. So I'm gonna add these underneath my pit berries that are on there and just it just makes it look more full and it makes it pop more and I think this would be great in a wall basket uh, or you could just hang it on the wall great in a vignette I'm going to show you the vignette that I'm going to use it in and I just really like how this comes out
another dump find at our free shack. This is uh, a, just a wooden sign that I thought was so cute. It apologizes for the house being a mess, but actually you came on a good day because it's usually worse than this. <laughs> so I thought it was pretty cute. And uh, I wanted to um, redo it. Um, obviously, I'm not going to keep it like this. Uh, so I wanted to make it look more primitive, uh, do a primitive wall hanging on it. So I sanded it down just a little bit. I'm not trying to get rid of the picture because I am going to paint this, uh, but I just wanted to sand it down because it was a little shiny and I wanted the paint to be able to stick. So I'm going to use my Dixie Belle Latte paint and because uh, my brush is still wet from another project, so I'm going to just use this and it actually matches what I want to do anyway. So I think this is going to work well. And Dixie Belle paint is so thick, I thought I would have to do two and a half coats, three coats on this piece of wood, and it actually only needed one coat. It's so thick, it covered up that uh, front so well. So I'm going to put a scrap piece of um, wallpaper on here, and I, I just found it in my drawer, and I said, hey, I want to use this. I really like the picture that's on the front of it has a little crow and the little uh, barbed wire fence. And, uh, you know, it's very primitive folk art looking. So I definitely want to put this on the front. So what I'm going to do is tear the edges. This is wallpaper border, so it's thick. So I can't just uh, get it wet and tear it. I mean, I could, but I don't want to do it that way. I want to make sure that when I tear it, I get the white paper underneath that sticks out. I'm going to do an aging technique with it, just with some antique wax. It's not like a super secret technique, really. But I want to make it look aged, and I want it to blend in with my little wood sign. So I think if I have some of that white sticking out, I'll show you what I'm going to do with it, and I think it comes out really good. So, uh, course Mod Podge. This is pre-pasted wallpaper border and I've said in the past some of these are old or they just don't stick that well if you get them wet and try to use them like regular wallpaper border. I find that using Mod Podge to get this to stick eases my mind to know that it's going to stay and not peel up. Uh, if I just use the water and the paste on the back I feel like it may eventually peel up. So uh, I put that all down, I rubbed it, and I let it dry a little bit. And now I'm going to take some of my Ebony Rub and Buff, which is the black, and a little bit on my finger, and I'm just going to go around the edges. It's got some little, some little lips there on the edge that I can just kind of touch up and make it look more distressed. Of course, the handle is going to get it as well. Now, I could have used black paint. Again, this is like the other project. I could have used black paint. Uh, if you don't want to distress it, you could leave it the way it, way it is. The colors look really well together. Um, but I wanted to distress it, make it look more primitive, more uh, aged, and like it's been around forever. So once I got all that done, now I'm taking my antique wax right out of the bottle and I'm going along the edges where I ripped that paper and got the white paper underneath. And then I'm just going to take a paper towel and just dab it. It's just a dry paper towel and just kind of dab a little bit of rubbing. You don't want to rub too much because it's paper and it will um, just kind of rub it off if you're not careful. So if you do rub, do it gently. And so I just mostly dab, but just, just kind of rub it on those edges and I feel like it gives it a layered look so it goes from the picture down to the the white antique part and then down to the board so it just kind of layers it and looks like it's worn off over time. Now, once I got all that on there and let it dry a little bit, 
I sealed it with my uh, Rust-Oleum Clear Spray. It's a sealer. And I'm just taking a piece of my black and tan primitive um, material. And I ripped off a piece of that so that I could tie that to my little handle at the top. I'm gonna to put a little bow on there. And I'm not gonna to do too much to this. This is all This is all I'm gonna do. I think this comes out really cute and it's simple. And I like the worn part of it so it looks like, you know, it's been around and just worn off. Again, like I said, over time. <laughs> So what did you think about those projects? Pretty awesome, huh? I love the primitive goodness of them. I'm trying to go back and do a little bit more simple projects, uh, simple, not really simple projects, but simple decor, more primitive. Primitive is more simple, uh, not frilly typically. And that's what I really love about primitive decor. So I wanted to touch base on where I got the greenery that I used in this video. It's called the Primitive Star Quilt Shop, and I'll put a link down in the description if, if you wanna check it out. Their prices aren't too bad, really, on their greenery. And I just wanted some spring greenery because spring is gonna be popping here. I know we're in, just turned into winter, but I'm ready for spring already, and I know it's gonna come upon us really quickly. So I wanted to get going on my spring greenery that I can use throughout the year and just kind of enhance some of my projects. So I just wanted to show you, now this is one of the little bushes that uh, I took off the some of the stems and used for that Pitberry Star uh, wall hanger that I had. And so this is what you get here. I guess I could tell you prices on things maybe. Um, no, I can't. The prices aren't on there, and I can't remember what it is, but I thought it was, uh, they were good prices. I mean, greenery is just out of control for pricing, but I really like this, and I think it's a small business, so you're helping out a small business by buying these. Another thing that I got were these little uh, ball greenery. I thought these were really pretty. I got a couple of those, or yeah, two or three of them, I guess, yeah. So I got those. Those would be great in um, some crockery, or, uh, I, don't, I don't know, they, they would just be great. I, I just wanted to get them because I thought they were so pretty. And then you saw this in my little marriage that I did with the bowl and the dome. So this is just a, a like a candle, um, yep, forgot the word, but you know, it goes around a candle or something if you want, or it could hang, this could be an O in home, uh, anything like that. I just love the color of the greenery. I like the, it's got a little bit of the rust color on the edges, uh, several tones of green, and I just love that. And then this one I really love. These are little, I guess, daisies, and that's another little candle ring. Uh, so, and I got a couple of those, got some little white pit berries in there, and then the little daisies. As you can see, I think their daisies are, they look like daisies, not daisies. Daisies would be white. These would be like, they're not black eyed Susans because they don't have the black eye, but they're kind of like that. So maybe they're the sunflower. I'm not very prepared, am I guys? Um, what does it say? Tea stained daisy. So I'm not crazy. Uh, and the ones with the white are called baby's grass baby's grass with the white. So, I don't know. I wanted to show you those. I got two or three of each of those. I also got myself a new calendar to go in my calendar holder that I have. I don't know if anybody uses calendar holders anymore, but I do. So this is the Simple Life. And then those are all the pictures that it's gonna be. I really love 
the simple primitive pictures that it has. I mean, look at that. It's just beautiful. And um, so I just picked that up to put in there because I didn't get one for Christmas, which I didn't expect to, but you never know. So um, this is a 2024 calendar. I can't believe it. We're already there already. There's one with watermelon. That looks like a nice summer picture. That one's for July, of course. So this is gonna be great in my calendar holder. I can't wait to, well, I can wait <laughs> to put it in. I don't wanna, I don't wanna rush next year too quickly. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you. Again, I'll put links down in the description to that, uh, that page, that web page. What else did I say was gonna give you a link to? Something else. Oh, the lights. I'll try and find the lights on Amazon, the little fairy lights, and um, put those down in the description as well. So, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, and have a great day.